Hello everybody and welcome back to some Dominions 5. We are in the turn 46 in the year of the year three of the Ascension Wars. We have a messenger arrived from Shenton and no more words, he says, then perish, fool. And that's cool. I am a and then from Harasbad, I'm afraid we cannot part with such a dear stone at this time when all of our maidens must be sacrificed to reinforce our armies. He's talking about the bloodstone that I asked him for. And we will probably, we can send him blood slaves to it. I didn't really say that. I said gems and whatever. I'll uh, talk to him again and maybe, if, I don't think we're doing it another bit right now because I do want to save the blood slaves. So, meh. We didn't desperately really need the, the bloodstone anyway. We have a sunken galley, which gives us one death gem in the water. Very nice. There were the magic sites. A little bit of blood slave. There was a battle in the Windsong Forest. So now Shanton is attacking us here with a raiding force of these three mages. Two skeleton spammers and a natured guy. Again, it's a little bit of province defense from us. So just the two, two death uh, mages doing Horde of Skeletons is actually a pretty good raiding stack and we can definitely do this strategy. I haven't really been use it, utilizing it a lot, but I think it's time. And then making them ethereal is pretty strong. And then he's casting protection on them, so now they're decently protected as well. Not really, apparently. Okay, here a little bit better. They're invulnerable. So they aren't gonna die, and we are gonna lose in the middle there, so they do nothing and assist. comes in, in with something similar. Well, not really. But he's spending gems here to just win the battle. Yeah, no amount of province defense will really beat that. It will have to be like 20. So, he didn't lose anything in Col Colamigor. We sent a little bit of raiding, but I don't think enough. We have our bird initiate casting some good uh, spells here. Then one animate dead. Then they're going in. And then we route. So that's. We didn't lose the bird initiate, so no big deal. There was a little bit of. There's only province defense in here. In the windswept desert, we are attacking. And we're going to run into a little bit of province defense, so we're probably killing that with our two buried initiates here. They aren't very good at hitting. So we need to send them in bigger stacks, but we are doing that now. Might have to do teams of three or four instead of two. Well, in there was a uh, lost one hammer in the mirror. Send a raiding stack of some cavalry, uh, but this is a larger amount of province defense, so we run into them and we get some kills, I think, but far from enough. And our bird initiate. Cannot solo the army, I think. Now they run away, but usually my they get away at least because they have so high protection and they run pretty fast for compared to normal humans. And the archers doesn't really hurt them either, so they they run in and they smack a little bit and then they run away, but then they get away, so that's good. Uh, we lost all the long dead long dead horsemen, but that was it. So failed raiding in Garillion, the big fight. Da, da, da. This is the big army that I intended would take it. Um, of course, we have the Angels of Fury this turn, uh, time around. And a little bit of flanking force there. And it's only the province defense that we saw earlier. He's just left that in there. So we will try to murder them this time around. He didn't move anything in to help cover it. In go the Angels of Fury, they've had body ethereal cast on them. 
two of them at least, so that's good. And in the center we are handily beating them, but I think we've killed all the leaders, so everything's just routing. And we will murder as many as we can, gaining the XP. And so, lose one Fribble D's Hammerer, two Capemen, and that's it. Out of 126, he had 52 in province defense alone. So pretty good, our Angels of Fury doing good work here. And they're not dying, that's the important part. And we finally took Gavillion. There was a battle in Bolfagen. And this is one, uh, I can't believe I was called Sauron the Wraith Lord. Uh, and he's just killing some province defense, it's not gonna be any problem for him. Uh, Bolfagen, nope, he kills them. There was a battle in Quantum. So this is Quantum. Uh, sallying out of his fortress, he has this uh, Taki the Prophet. So he just got, he just came back, and then he got cursed, I guess. And then, yeah, then he's sending him in with a bunch of buffaloes to trample my forces, no doubt. And seems like it would be pretty effective here. But most of them didn't actually hit the front line at the first instance there. And our dudes have decent melee defense skills, so they have a chance to dodge out of the way when they get trampled, and I think they will get that in most cases here. And then we just surround them and kill them. Meanwhile, we kill the hero in the back. And yeah, we definitely destroyed that force. We lost six Avenging Nightblades and three Wolf Fribble D's Hammers. One Long Dead Horseman and one Slinger. So 11 units to his 26 and a hero. Definitely a good trade for us. And then Domin. We see another Wraith Lord come in and just raid some province defense. It's annoying. We need to make our own Wraith Lords, but I want to go for the Bill of Misery first. There's Battle and Pharah. And this is one of our raiding stacks. But we run into a Wraith Lord here. Uh, what's he called? Rep Repinator. Repinator. Can't read that. Um, with a bunch of province defense and a leader here with uh, a mate here with uh, fire gems and another one with fire gems. So they create some fire elementals, and we could definitely don't have the forces to take on this kind of force. We have one Skeletal Spawner. With the two of them, we might have had enough. Probably not. We would three need three or four Skeletal Spammers in here, which I am gonna start recruiting more Buried Consorts over Buried Initiates. They are a little bit better for that reason. He's killing his own units up here, really. Is he? A little bit. Let's see. Uh, that was in Pharah. We kill one Serpent Knight of his actual forces, so and then we lose everything. So, not very good. Failed raid. There was a battle in Okajap. We see a battle between Rasbat and Avas, and they take back a fort. And that's all. I don't think they lose anything here, do they? Oh, they do. It's two devils and some ten of these guys. So that's pretty good. From the Vassian Javelin Warriors. Uh huh. Probably some friendly fire in there too. An unexpected event has occurred in Lands End. A horde of frenzied farmers has attacked the garrison. They seem raving mad. Okay. Calm down. Dominion and extra trade routes in Windun. Nice. Nice. A worldwide event has occurred. An upcoming arena battle. Uh, people's death match is scheduled in the arena. Spellcasting is not allowed, and all participants will get to borrow a slave color due to to ensure they do not perform magic or run away. As this game for the common people, pretender god and disciples are not allowed to compete. If you break the rules, you get to keep the slave color. And I'm I'm assuming that we will win this. Actually, uh, let's see. There's a battle in the lands, and let's watch that one here. Uh, 
this is a devil, Basas the devil with a demon whip, and then just a bunch of peasants and madmen, and they will run forward and kill our meager province defense here. They aren't very well armored, so they can actually be damaged by the slingers, and they do a little bit, but then they die, and they lost three un five units total. Desires to destroy the fort in Quantum, but we're moving out of it, I think, because I don't want to risk taking the battle, and I don't have control over it. And I want to cover more ground. We're moving a little bit of raiding stack down here with two Skelespormers and Gundurik. I hope they could kill a Wraith Lord if they meet him. But otherwise, there's a crab coming here, and I don't think he can win over uh, Skelly Spammers either. So that's also something to consider. Um, we're moving the whole army up here in the bulwark. Oh, and did I check the uh, supply limit? I did not. We need to send some more units elsewhere. Because we don't have the supply. My bad. I'm not sure I have the time for that. I'm going to do it here. But I'm not sure I actually have the time to send in the turn with that difference. Let's see. We could send Inberger somewhere else. 279 supplies. Yeah, and then I'm moving in more. Well, 13 from here, okay. So we need to downsize. Well, some of it is moving over here. Uh, not a lot of it. So we still need to downsize by about 100. Seems like it would be this army again. Clovis with Gund Gundarik. Clovis. God damn it. And Gundarik can move down here, I think. That makes our presence here very different. But I think that's okay. They can converge up here. If there's a lab, that might be okay. If I need it. And here we are leaving... Leave all of this? Really? Why would I do that? And this guy said to see he should move up here. Who else is staying? Who shouldn't? We have the guys preaching here in case he doesn't attack, and then we have this. Okay. This is fine for defending, just in case. Maybe two skillless bammers is actually better. So you could stay. Well, Amalaric should stay. And Charlie Bird could move, because he's got twice born. Okay. Yeah. So then we have two two that stays. And spawn skeletons and one bird initiate to try to kill stuff. Sounds good. I don't know if I know get to make that change in time. I'm gonna have to lo upload it as soon as I'm done here. Um, uh, did we? Uh, now I lost my train of thought completely. I'm sorry. We went through the thing. In here, we are moving in a big force. Did I show this already? This is our setup. In the middle here, we are doing a communion. Let's see. I think. 
Phoenix Power, Communion Master and Communion Slave somewhere. Here. So the Communion Master will only have one slave and he will cast Power of the Spheres, then Howl, like he's usually doing to me. And we're just fending in Garillion, yes. And then we are um, moving in more stuff. I'm gonna. He, we see a lot of units uh, on the border here. We see a bunch of eagles, great eagles in here, and wine ogres, um, commanded by the Witch King. And in here we see an equal serpent knight, really big army. He's gonna throw a lot of stuff in here this turn. Uh, so we are also. We're doing a whole lot of things in here. We are casting Sea King's Court, so another one of this guy with an, a similar army. With this guy, because there was a, uh, a Lavatory in here. There was also a Limblium Vale, Battlefield, Thunder Oak. So it is a good province. Decent income as well. I boosted the defense up to 27. Um, we're preaching. Spirit Mastery to summon ghosts. We're doing summon ogres. We're doing patrol ritual of returning with uh, our astral mages so that if they get hurt, they will be teleported back to the capital. Sagibird has been given a shield. We're also pillaging. You know, if I get to change the turn, I'm going to probably summon Ogres with him instead. Yes. We're doing a crusher construction, with this, which is a giant golem. Uh, and I think that would be a nice centerpiece to the army as well. To deal some actual damage to the units. And most of them, I think, are Guard Commander, or uh, we are doing attack immediately with the big guys. We could have attack flyers here. Probably better. So hold and attack flyers. Also, a bigger chance of all of them getting blessed. We have a blesser nearby uh, the Angels of Fury, so they will actually be blessed in this battle. That would be really good. Uh, Serial will also be going to the Deathmatch. And I'm wondering how that will interact, because he's going to be given the Slave Color, which I think is a miscellaneous item, so I don't know what will happen here. He can do without either of them, but both of them will help him, so I'm not sure... And if there's a battle afterwards, he, that's also the reason why we're staying. We're taking this fight because I want to send him to the deathmatch and then we have to stay because then he can't move. So these guys are blood hunting for us. Blood hunting up here because they'll go into the laboratory right away. We, I even gave this guy who we've also kitted out. I gave him the Sengen Dowsing Bar so we get an extra level of death magic for the purpose of that. Then we're moving in here. We're moving in from there. We're moving in from here. Searching and searching here. Let's see, we are not doing anything special here. We are forging boots of quickness, forging boots of quickness twice. He's a move of control up here. Well, he could have made it into there, maybe. No. This guy will move in patrol down to the fort, just in case. Uh, that's actually a little bit precarious because he's got flyers now, so we'll have to make sure that they aren't in the front. Or oh, in the very back. This guy's coming back home. We also dumped some items. We have not a lot in store. I've used most of it. This guy's really wounded. That's why I ran away with him. He's forging a crown of lead, which gives magic resistance. Contact hill giant in here, but we, we are moving them out. Or have moved them out. Let's see how we're doing in units here. Just moving out some Mandagora. No, they're just patrolling in here. Bob is over here now. He's going to search once time with the the big staff. Because he's here anyway. Giving him the champion skull. I should actually move that over to Gunthamund and try to get him out in the Hall of Fame. That would be nice. Joe and her is going to act as a a gem transporter, so he's going to move up here and give gems to people in the army. Uh, we're preaching around 
consumes the main here and we have gotten the candles down a little bit but not a whole lot so we're still working on that got bob being here will help every priest around in the areas around are on a retreat i think just in case not this guy maybe he should be well he, they can't be attacked right now Oh, we can do this guy in here now. We have to have a temple there. Wouldn't be impossible, but mm. water. We're just moving around. He didn't take this territory back. We continue to threaten him. We are almost ready to attack in here. So I am moving our amphibious troops in here, and then we can strike these two territories next turn. Um. We are not attacking in here, we're moving back one turn, just in this province. Well... Alright, it's only the empty guy who's moving back. The other one will stay in here and wait. Even the other one will try to move back and gain, uh, collect more forces. What else? We're building the forge in here and forging a dancing trident and an autonomous weapon. Uh, let's see. We're now entering sight here. That's good. So we are getting devils every turn. We're attacking. Ah, just prodding here. What are we doing here? We're sneaking and attacking in, into the fort from here. And we're sneaking and attacking into the fort from here. That's what's going on. To check where what he has in these territories this turn. These guys are moving in there. We're forging a dragon helmet. Uh, a skull face mask is uh, being forged here now. So we, that's where we spend most of our death gems on. Then we are 560 research. So we are closing on the... Uh, how many turns will it be? Like five turns before we can cast the Well of Misery? Maybe less if we can get more research going. We're doing another Heavenly Wrath. This turn I had to alchemize uh, air gems to, to get it. We're spending all of the death gems because I'm casting the Sea King's Court over here. Um, yeah, so we finally emptied that stocking. And in all in all, we, are, we only, really only have uh, air gems left at this point. I'm trying to use some of them, but otherwise we will convert them to astral gems. We are getting 25 astral pearls per month, so we, we would have to uh, convert 20 air gems per month to keep casting uh, the Heavenly Wrath. We'll probably do it one more time, and then we are running a bit low, so I'll start holding off. Um, anything else? We are gathering a small force here. Uh, in case this Wraith Lord thinks it's brave enough to go up here, but we're pulling everything back and just, uh, yeah, so let's see if we can kill him here. Uh, if nothing else, the Skeletal Spam would hold him off, I think, but the Dust to Dust might kill him. So the, even the Buried Initiate is on cast spells. That's good. What else? We're searching here. Uh, Arnold, who was in the water searching, uh, will move on to land to search a little bit as well. Because why not? He's He can do both here. Actually, if it's attacked... Yeah, you should just do spells. It's fine. Someone like you, you should have cast Returning on yourself before you left the capital. That would have been cool. Like a side searcher. That's what I'm casting up here now. I can show it. Cast Ritual Spell. Ritual Returning. So it's a one-time thing. You cast it for three gems. And then if he's ever wounded, it will be returned home to the capital. And that costs three gems. We can do it in here because there's a lab. All works out nicely. Enchanted Tomb here and Mineral Cave giving extra income. But it's not a lot. Up here is Maze and Catacombs. Yeah. Um, we see a large army from Avas here, so it's not over between the two of them yet, and that's good to see. We want to have them keep fighting each other. No clear winner. 
And then we'll take on Shenton. I hopefully, I think we are making advances still. Uh, if T Tinium wakes up and fights back, we will be in a good spot. If not, we might be in trouble. We'll see. And yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for the coming round. I haven't. Uh, well, we, we, I'm gonna submit again and hope I can make it. The, the timer should be up right about now. So I'll end the episode and thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the coming war against Shenton. See you then. Bye bye.